What's going on? It's Mike and Justin from Kill Switch Engage. And this is Loudwire. Rock. What's up, everyone? It's Loudwire's coverage of the Heavy MTL Fest 2012. I'm here with two fifths of Kill Switch Engage. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for your time. Uh, so. You guys are here right now uh, as sort of an extension of the uh, Trespass America tour, You're coming over the border to Canada. Uh, how's that tour been? Have there been any uh, specific moments that have been really memorable? Uh, I don't know. I've forgotten quite a bit of it already. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's going really, really well. Yeah, it's a great tour. It's um, a lot of good people on it, and it's going really fun. Cool. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, are, and are, are there any uh, discernible differences between playing uh, Canada versus America? I haven't really noticed much. Do you? Uh, hmm. Don't sing the Canadian national anthem in Montreal, <laughs> or you'll get bottles thrown at you. Really? You sing it in if you sing it in the states. I don't think they're gonna care. But don't do it in Montreal. Yeah. Do they think it's like you're kissing up to them or something? Or no, Adam sang Adam sang the uh, sang O Canada in Quebec once, <laughs> and that was a bad move. You didn't like, like it? What do you mean? I don't understand. <laughs> no, Adam, you don't do that. <laughs> I guess that's right. the major difference. Yeah, that's funny. You get water bottles thrown at you. <laughs> right. And uh, you guys have been playing that uh, one of your new tracks, No End in Sight. You guys have been playing it live. How's that reaction been from the crowd? Um, it's it's always when you play a new song that people don't know it's different than the songs people do know so but I think people are just kind of when we play it, I think they're just sort of checking it out you know okay. but it seems to be going well you know nothing's getting thrown at us yeah I mean it's only two minutes two minute fast song so even if it sucked <laughs> it's, it's over with pretty fast that's good um, and uh, is is that song any indication of what we can expect from the upcoming record I, uh, maybe I mean it's got a blast beat in it and there's a lot of blast beats on the new record blast so beats. it's yeah, it's probably going to be pretty fast, the new record, so in that regard, I would say yes. I would say, yeah, you can gauge the aggression level on that song as far as what the rest of the record's going to sound like as well, I think. Yeah, and for a while now, you guys have been uh, closing out the show with Dio's Holy Diver. Uh, how did that come to be? How did that decision get made to close with Dio's song? Um, I don't know, the close with it. I think the first time we did it, we just sort of did it because people, kids wanted to hear it. And I was at the the best for last if people want to hear it. And fortunately or unfortunately, it's like the most radio heavy tune that we have. So I guess it makes sense. And, and uh, it definitely closes out the show with a bang. It's our, it's our form of fireworks. Absolutely. Yeah, it's fun. <laughs> you end it with a fun note. So. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, and you guys, uh, I was lucky enough to actually be at the New England uh, uh, the New England uh, Hardcore and Heavy Metal Festival um, when Jesse actually came back and that show was so unique in, in the energy that was in the crowd it, like everyone was just you know the, the show had been going on all day everyone was exhausted three days long but then you guys come on and the audience is just completely filled with energy like can you tell us a little bo- more about that night it was um, it was kind of a blur really because we hadn't played in so long and um, obviously having the first show with Jesse, it was just a lot of, I don't know, a lot of emotions in there. And then when we finally actually got to play, it just sort of happened and then afterwards it w- was over so fast. But it was, it was really, really fun. I think that's what I remember most is that it was over before I knew it. And uh, like he said, we hadn't played in a couple of years live and um, I found myself going a little too crazy at the yeah. beginning, and it hurt my neck so bad I could barely move it after the third song. <laughs> it's like, oh, that wasn't a good idea at all. How am I going to finish the rest of the set? I have ten more songs to go. Uh, but yeah, that, that happens too. Very cool. And, uh, and of course, there's, there's one band that wasn't able to make it to this festival today, of course, Lamb of God. Um, but luckily, Randy is back home. And What is your perspective of that entire situation? Pretty scary, because we were just out there and we saw him, you know, just... Two days before it happened, we were hanging out with him. He actually gave us a skateboard. He had an extra one. We were riding around with him and, um, yeah, just a 
it's like he got hit over the head with something that he didn't know was coming, you know. And uh, we had played Prague like four or five minutes just before, before then as well, and seemed fine. We saw posters up for Lamb of God show. We didn't think anything of it really. It really, uh, as much of a shock to us as it was to him, I'm sure. Yeah. And there was, there was just no indication at all that this was something that, you know, may happen. There was no talk of you know, someone, you know, passing away, at, you know, shortly after Lamb of God show? No one had any idea. No one whatsoever. I read some of the management said if we had known, we never would have sent you there to begin with, so, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah well, uh, last question, you know, obviously a lot of people uh, look up to you guys as musicians, and as musicians, I think uh, no matter how good you get, there's always going to be people who you put on that pedestal that's like, wow, I, no matter how good I get at this or popular, I'll never be quite as good as this person. Like, who are who are some of those people for you guys? Uh, for me, everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> oh. no, it includes I'm, all of you out there. Else. I, don't, I think I'm garbage. <laughs> <As I said. laughs> no, really, I mean, well, those guys right there, Rush, they're showing them. For one second ago, they showed Rush. I'll never be as good yeah, as any. That's Zach Wild. Yeah, but you missed it. They're on for a second. It's a good new album, isn't it? I haven't heard it yet, actually. No, I haven't heard it yet. But I heard it was very good. I, I'm dying to get it. I recommend it very highly. Anyone for you uh, that you think? Man, this is a, I'm struggling. I've been sitting here trying to think of a person. I, I have no clue. Uh, Getty I, Lee. <laughs> sure. Yes. <laughs> Getty Lee. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well. Thank you so much for your time, guys. Kill Switch Engage.